Hey everybody, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to navigate to a point of interest using your Garmin Fenix 7 Series watch. Now I'm using the 7X Solar Sapphire in this video. Shouldn't matter which version of the Fenix 7 you've got. This video should work same for everybody. I'll also mention that I'm not gonna be using the touchscreen functionality. I'm just gonna be using the buttons. You can obviously use touchscreen functionality if you've got that on one of the models you've got. So the Garmin Fenix is just like a lot of other Garmin watches. You can navigate to various things, GPS coordinates, save locations, activities, courses. One of the things you can do though is you can navigate to what's called a point of interest. And let's go in, I'll show you that. We're gonna press, we're gonna start by pressing the upper right button. That'll take us into our activities and apps. And then we're gonna use the up or down button to go down to navigate, press the upper right button to select it. And the first option you'll see in there is points of interest. Now you'll also see around me. If I went down and navigated to around me or uh, pull that in, it would pull in every single thing that's around me. Points of interest kind of does the same thing, but when I go into points of interest, it will break them down into subcategories. So I can look at the cities around me, food and drink, fuel services, so on and so forth. I'm just gonna go through the whole listing to show you all the different subcategories. In this case, let's say we're looking for a gas station. I'm gonna go to fuel services, and now it's just pulling all the gas stations that are, that are around me. I can spell search. That basically means I'm looking for a certain gas station, in this case, gas station, I'm looking for a certain thing that I want to spell the name for to find it. I can do search near. Search near would be if I'm looking for a certain point of interest near a different location. Around me would obviously be the ones just around my general area. And then I have a listing of all of the different ones that it found that I can pick specifically from the list. So there's a Shell station seven miles to the southeast. Let's go ahead and press the upper right button to select that one. I can go down. There's a few different options here. Review basically just means show me the details of that given location. In this example, there's not a whole lot of details to that Shell station. We'll go ahead and press back. I can save the location. Maybe I'm not looking to navigate to it. I just wanted to find it and save it so I can navigate to it in the future. I can do the save location. Map would be just to show me where it is on a map, you see it right there, and press back. And then last but not least, if I'm ready to navigate to it, I can choose go and it will bring up my uh, map. It will start my navigation process, connect to a GPS, and I can start navigating to that location. Now the key here is I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna start the navigation because I'm sitting at my desk, there's not a whole lot to show you. If I just press the back button, and then hold it down and go back to my main screen, you'll notice that I've got 47 hours of battery life. It's because if I press the upper right button, I'm still in the navigation. So what you wanna do here is if you're not looking to navigate at that point, you wanna back out, back to your apps and activity list, because now that we're out of that activity, it's actually stopped it. Now I've got 22 days of battery life. But anyway, that's just some basic information about how to get to the points of interest navigate to them, review them, save them, so on and so forth. As always, I hope the video helps. Thanks for watching.